Hi, I'm Ben from 498 Nerf, and this is my take on the Quadulus. Now, the, quad, the Quadulus is a four flywheel modulus uh, modification, first done by Rob at uh, South Brisbane Nerf Club, so shout out to him. He's the first one that did it. This is a kind of a copy of it. Um, and what I've done is I've taken you know, a little bit different tack than he did on it, but you know, same kind of a general result. The internals, again, this is a four flywheel blaster. So I'm running Kaizen 17 114s uh, in the first stage, and I'm running MTB Rhinos in the second stage. This is a similar um, motor motor cage, motor setup uh, to some of the Hailstorms, some of the later Hailstorm mods uh, that I've done. Um, so modified there, I'm running the whole thing off of four uh, IMR cell batteries, housing them up here in the uh, uh, stock battery tray. Um, for the externals, um, I did some experimenting with, with the paint and I tried to get kind of a, a glitter finish and I failed but I ended up with something else that I kind of like. So I laid down a, um, first of all, a, a black uh, enamel, black flat enamel um, Rust-Oleum base coat. It's the same paint also that the accent's done out of. I uh, laid that down as my primer coat and then I put a Krylon um, double max or super max blue uh, as the coat put that down and then I took a can I believe it was a rust oleum metallic gold and I went I, I tried to get a fleck finish and I failed miserably what I ended up doing I ended up putting a mist putting a sheen on the top of the uh, of the blaster coat and didn't get the look I was looking for but I ended up with something that that I kind of like and it gives it that kind of a metallic almost a, 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 a trans translucent type of a, a finish on it and then I finished the whole thing up by um, uh, about three coats of uh, cl crystal clear enamel um, rust-oleum crystal clear enamel um, so the look was not what I was going for but it ended up turning turning out pretty well so let's uh, take this out let's do a couple firing demos and then put it over top of the chronograph Target practice from 25 feet away. One thing I forgot to mention when I was talking to the Blaster 4 before is I added a brass barrel. I don't know if you can see down in there real well, but I've read, added a brass barrel to this uh, build going through from, from where, the darts come, where the darts come in all the way back to about here after it goes through the flywheel cage. And that gives you, gives you two advantages. One, uh, the darts feed uh, very reliably, very even. They don't have darts ever popping out of the top of the clip or anything like that. It holds it in there. Uh, and secondly, and as you can see by some of those firing demos, it significantly improves the accuracy of the blaster. Uh, the shots that I was doing with the, uh, the target practice on the, on the red solo cups, I was about 25 feet away and you know, put, put shots right into exactly where I was wanting to. And then the uh, firing demo was about 40, 45 feet away. And you can see even with that distance, I was able to uh, hit the camera and, and knock the knock my uh, phone camera over uh, with that. Um, so you, with that you lose a little bit of FPS, uh, you know, I'm down around 140-ish uh, range for FPS, um, whereas I normally would be probably seeing 155, 160 without the brass barrel in this kind of a build based on what I've gotten on uh, my hailstorms. 
uh, rapid strikes before. But it's a trade-off if you're down in the in the 140s with the elite and you can put shots on target 40, 50, 60 feet. In my mind, that's a good trade-off. So, anyways, um, this is my take on the on the Quadulus. Thanks for watching.